Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Good morning. Welcome back everyone. Welcome back. It's a beautiful day. Scorch. It's going to be scorch. Yep. Weather forecast for later on this week is 36 Celsius, which is 97 Fahrenheit. And it's only April. It's April. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's lovely. Of Perfect. course. We're not complaining. If you see the sky on there, it's totally blue. Not a cloud, <laughs> innit? Um, oh, we've had a bit of a busy weekend. We have. Yeah, we didn't get our day off yesterday. No, well, we did a bit. Half a day half off. Half a day. Half um, a We're so far behind with everything, we thought we'd just get stuck in over yeah. the weekend. We're nearly up to date. I painted the railings now, you can see that there, got its final coat on, the other one's over there. So I just need to find a couple of hours later on this week um, to Go get, and installed. get them installed. Yeah. On Saturday, um, you may have seen the video on Tuesday, it's Thursday today. It is. <laughs> it's very confusing. <laughs> well, it will be when you see this, it's not actually <laughs> Thursday today at the minute. But anyway, yeah, we installed um, an off-grid solar system on a camper van of our friends. Yes. And um, while I was doing that, Sharon tidied up all the front. I did. Look did a bit of weeding. Nice. Looks, looks a bit better, doesn't it? Yeah, we, just, yeah. we need to find a home for this sand and stuff as well. Yes. But we're getting there slowly with it. We are. Um, also, yesterday, Sunday morning, it's Monday today, <laughs> just to confuse you more, um, I put a load of pinning stones in the wall we've been working on in the courtyard. Um, so that's another step closer to being done. Um, what are we on today? Oh, we've got lots of bits I'm of on the wall. to do. You're on the <laughs> wall. I've got all the plants to tend to. I'm going to plant some more peppers because I we planted... Did I plant eight? And only three have come up. So I'm going to plant some more peppers. Um, and we've been discussing melons. We both love melons. And last couple yes. of years we've tried to grow them. First year we tried in the courtyard and they, they come up absolutely fine but they get to a certain size and then they don't yeah. grow anymore. I think it's just too hot for them. We tried last year growing them in the ground. Even though they're supposed to like heat. <laughs> yeah, and that wasn't very successful either. The same thing, they grew um, lots of melons, but tiny, but like, tiny little yeah. things. Um, Cricket ball size. So we've got a bath round the back where we used to have the dogs. Um, we got it for them as a swimming ball to cool down in, but they didn't, they like, didn't it. like it. <laughs> they didn't like it at all. So um, it's just there doing nothing. So we've got an idea that we'll share with you later um, to try third time lucky and grow some melons. Although it's a bit late for this year, yeah, but, but we'll be ready for next. We'll year. be ready for next year. So, um, we better crack on then, Let's aren't we? We've got a bee here, look, oh. Mr. B. Nice bee. We get quite a lot of bees, which is good. Great yeah. for the environment, great for the plants. Yeah, it likes mm. you. He loves me, yeah. It must, yeah. must be like Guinness, you must think it's Guinness. <laughs> right, let's crack on. So this is the bath in question. Um, and as I mentioned, the dogs, I just thought I'd update you on the dogs. They're absolutely fine. Um, they've gone to stay with a friend who's got a big farm and they've got lots of land. They can run around freely rather than being in their enclosure because obviously we're on a building site and uh, there's lots of dangerous tools and things around and uh, we had to keep them not penned up exactly they were okay but we just felt that they needed more space somewhere to run so our friend very kindly said that we could take them there and uh, we go and visit them and they're absolutely fine um so i just thought i'd, I'd update you on that um so yes back to the bath what we're going to do is we've got lots of donkey poo left over um we're going to put layers of compost and donkey poo in here we're going to let it over the winter um, decompose I suppose, break down and then next year we are going to try growing our melons in the bath. So it uses the bath and um, it, if we keep it at the back of the house where we're standing now, the back of the apartment, um, it doesn't get full sun all day because we think that was the problem with the melons. Um, although they do like full sun but I think it's just too hot here in the summer. Um, so I think this will be a good spot for them up against that wall which you can't see um, but yeah it uh, 
Hopefully, fingers crossed. So we'll keep posted. So I'm assuming my position for the day <laughs> in, the, in the boiling sun. Um, it does come round and give me a bit of shade later on. Um, I put a load of pinning stones in this wall. Um, rebuilt a lot of the bottom of it as well. It's really poor condition. Um, someone commented, Andy commented, um, about the contrast on the stones. Um, we don't know why the stones are, are like black there when they're all, they call them honey stone, um, on the, well, the, the locals do, um, but they're not very honey like whereas all the others sort of are. Um, we can only assume it's the way they face with the weather, this wall faces east, um, but why they've gone black and it's only down to like there as well, we're not sure, um, but it must be something to do with the weather, the prevailing weather. So anyway, I'm going to get a mix on. And um, we'll try and get this done. Then we can start on the floor. Back on the front of the house. <laughs> you know what they say about working with children and animals. <laughs> um, we got we have sparrows every year nested in the holes there above the door. Lovely little things they are. And um, I just could come round because they were making a right racket, um, as they do. And um, but as soon as you come round with the camera, um, they've gone. <laughs> so we'll try and get some more on that. Um, they all sit and roost in the tree in the courtyard at dusk. Um, yeah, lovely things there. Yeah. We like to do our bit. Apparently in, in um, a lot of places they're endangered because houses don't have holes in them anymore and uh, house sparrows like to nest in the eaves and stuff of houses and uh, with all the modern guttering things and new PVC and plastic and stuff um, they're losing their homes. So it's lovely to have them. First mix is nearly done, must be warm today, I've got my shorts on for the first time this year. <laughs> planted some peppers um, out of the packet um, I've got a, a bell pepper here that we had for dinner not yesterday day before I've dried the uh, seeds out and I'm just gonna put these into a pot now and um, hope for the best I've done it before it did work because um, the ones we've got in the packet are the Italian the, the dulce um, sweet peppers so I'm just gonna try these and we'll put plenty in because they might not all take and we can always thin them out if they do. That's the idea anyway. So I've wet the compost, it's been very dry because it's not been had anything in it for a while so obviously not been watering it. I have wet it but it's still a bit dry but I'll just scatter these and then water them in well and uh, yeah hope for the rest. Go. A bit of that right here on the top. Just a, a light scattering. I don't want to bury them too deep. There we go. That should do. Water. Right, so I'm off. I'm going to wet it all down first, well not all of it, just a bit of it and because it dries out in well, not long at all in this full on sun the sun will be, should be putting a shadow on this in maybe a, an hour or so okay, I'll start over here last year we were actually giving them away, we had so many peppers so um Fingers crossed. And in this one, I'm going to do some more tomatoes because I did mention on previous video that I planted 10. They were all successful. I went back to the UK for 10 days, came back and I was only got three because Alfie had been sleeping on the, the bed where the tomatoes had been planted. So just going to plant a few more. Same principle. Loosen up the compost. Throw a few seeds in. Again, if they all come up and we've got too many, I can always thin them out. That should do actually, tomatoes. They grew really well on the front of the house here last year, like day of the triffids, so um, it bodes well. Not 
not a very technical gardener, but it seems to work. Okay. Come back in a few days and see what happens. <laughs> And these are the ones we planted earlier. So they're coming on a treat, little one there. Uh, I don't know why the others didn't work, but um, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully those I've just put today will pop up in a few days. And this mess needs clearing up. Uh, this is from when we did the um, the path, when we did the courtyard and put the big stones down. Um, we had to clear the area, obviously, and these stones and things were just lying around. We've just put them in the trough and they've stayed there ever since. So seeing as I'm in the mood today, I'm going to get all this tidied up. And of course, here's Alf helping <laughs> as usual. Always. That looks better, doesn't it? Um, this is the original trough that used to catch water off the roof and send it out through, you can see that little hole, which Andy made a bit bigger, um, onto the land and then it would flow into the external deposit. Um, so we're keeping that, it's quite a nice feature, but it looks much better now it's clean. So it's looking pretty good over there, I'm going to move away from that for a bit and try and get some stones in this side um, so they're well gone off for when I get over to it. Um, well that's just a spice of life as well as you say. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. quite hefty ones required in here. You'll go up there. Then we'll want to go underneath. There we go. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? I've lost my stone. Here it is. <laughs> ah, yeah. Smashing it. A little bit on top of it. And you can go in there. 
Excellent. Right, I'll carry on. And this, this is the bit that I've still got to point. Um, it's a, get a bit of a mess, and or, because it hasn't been pointed, all the bits are collecting in the gaps here. So I'm just going to give this a bit of a sweep. We've got a pile of stones here, you might not be able to see those well, from when Andy was repairing the wall on the chicken shed. Um, yeah, so just having a tidy up today. I'm in the mood. Got a nice one here, nice flat square one that'll do for the corner. You can go in there. And that looks better doesn't it as well so it's ready for pointing now I need to uh, get on to that at some point in the very near future before it gets too hot and I won't be wanting to do it out in the Sun God, that's looking much better already I filled in the top bit under the beam there um, this bit here I don't know if you can tell the difference on there and all this bit here just a little bit to do I'll let that go off a bit though first, let it consolidate and then we'll keep on building on it. But um, yeah, it's going to look absolutely lovely. Right, okay, another good day. Um, I'm down to a height now where I can work sitting down, which is how I like it. Um, but it's going to be tomorrow now. We've been invite, been invited out by some friends for dinner um, later on, well, in a little bit. And uh, unfortunately, life sometimes gets in the way of work, which is the way we like it too. So um, we'll pick it up in the morning. It's another scorching day. The next few days are going to be unseasonally hot. Um, temperatures mid high 30s, approaching 100 Fahrenheit. Um, so I'm going to be chasing shade today. Um, Sharon's tending to all the plants um, as we do every morning. And um, I'm going to start on the outside of the courtyard. This cable that I put in, if you remember, is going to feed the electrics going into there we've got a great big hole in the wall <laughs> um, because it's in the shade at the moment and it's in the sun in there I'm going to do this first and then move in there when the sun comes round and gives me a bit of shade in there so I've got a mix ready and um, so we can get this all filled in so I'm just watering all the plants this morning before it gets too hot and we had a bit of a disaster on Saturday very very high winds um, and this poor thing has been snapped here um, we left it on because thought it might recover but as you can see all the leaves are drooping it's dying off slowly so I'm just going to bite the bullet and cut it off there and um, the rest of it's looking fine but a bit of a shame because it was getting very tall but never mind so I'll go and get the secateurs and uh, cut that off okay so I've got deep inside the wall filled in and there's another hole down there um, years ago we used to have the generator inside didn't like that idea but that used to be where the exhaust came out so I filled that in as well there are some other bits a bit further along but we'll deal with them later or well, just the most important ones for now so I'm gonna let that go off a bit then pack a bit more in and then I've got a couple of nice stones that will face him off that one I think in particular and then we'll just fill the rest of the holes in um, sun's just about showing its head now and um, back inside the shade's coming around slowly I'm going to take this bar out now because that should be super hard enough not to move and stay where it is um, I'm going to do a bit on this and when it gets into the shade a bit more finish this off I'll finish it off a bit more and then a bit after that back on that bit over there um, because that will be in the shade then as well so yeah happy days it's looking good though yeah. smash 
Dankeschön. Okay, I'm coming nicely into the shade here now. Um, I'm going to carry on. I've got some stones here ready to go in, fill in the rest of the holes, um, try and get some in between the frame here, and um, yeah, put some strength back into it. Then I'll probably leave it then, go back over there, and then yeah, be ready for pointing up. There's quite a lot of holes, oh, another one there, one there. There's, they're just forever. <laughs> so. Let's get it slapped up. <laughs> I'm aware they go. Then one in there. One in there. Right, I'll carry on. Right, there we go. A lot of stones in there. A lot. Uh, I don't know if it looks any different to you guys from behind the camera or not, but um, it certainly does from here. Um, as you can see, my wall's in the shade over there, but my bench is still in the full on sun, so I'm going to wait a little bit because I'm going to be working over there now, and um, I don't particularly want that beating down on me while I'm doing it because it's, it's very hot. It's just hit 30 degrees um, Celsius. Um, it's going to get a lot hotter this afternoon, so um, yeah, we'll just leave that a little bit until we've got a bit of shade. Uh, just about in the shade, um, carry on with this lot, see what we can get done this afternoon. At least I get to sit down on the job now, which is always nice. Cool. I've got my mortar, I've got tons of stones. Get my gloves and then I'll carry on. There we have the bath full to the top. It's about, oh, I don't know, six barrow loads of compost and poo. I'm just going to keep it wet now so that it can all rot down and we'll be ready to plant our melons come spring next year. Well just as I thought I was getting near the final hurdles um, this is taking way way longer than first expected. The condition of the wall is so poor um, but it is what it is and um, we just keep rebuilding it and putting it back together. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer than I first thought. Thought about how all this done today, but um, a lot of work involved in it. Oh, I've decided I'm not doing another mix today. Too hot now. It's getting hotter by the minute. It's very hot. Very hot. Very Too hot. Ice cold beer hot. Definitely. Which is, which is a much better <laughs> idea than sitting out in the heat, yeah. um, pointing walls. We've not done bad though. We've had a good day. Got the trough sorted out. Trough sorted out, this, ready for the melons. This is all done, the outside started a bit. That's coming on, on a little bit to do. Mm, couple, couple of good days on that, I'll sort that out. So yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. Um, when are we back? Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you Sunday, thanks so much thank everyone. Thank you.